let's dive into today's lineup, starting with some fantastic classic cars. Here's what we've got for you today on the Kingna channel. 1966 Plymouth Belvedere II, located in Canton, Ohio. This beauty is a true example of a mid-60s muscle car. The Plymouth Belvedere was a staple in American automotive culture, often known for its sleek design and powerful performance. Our featured model has a 273 V8 engine and an automatic transmission, making it a great blend of style and power. The current owner says it runs and drives well, with only minor rust in the rear quarters. Though some parts like the carpet and back seat were removed due to moisture, the floors and undercarriage are reported to be solid. This four-door model isn't as sought after as the two-door variant, but for those looking for a classic that won't break the bank, this is a fantastic option. Plus, the owner is open to trades for other trucks or muscle cars. A bit of history. The Belvedere was originally introduced by Plymouth in 1954 as a full-size car, and by the time the 1960s rolled around, it had cemented its place as one of the go-to cars for those looking for American performance on a budget. 1987 Lincoln Town Car Executive Sedan 4-Door Located in Greenville, South Carolina The Lincoln Town Car is all about luxury and comfort. With only 46,000 miles on the clock, this one is practically a time capsule from the late 80s. The seller describes it as riding smoother than some modern cars, and if you've ever experienced the soft cloud-like suspension of a Lincoln, you'll understand why. It's the kind of ride that spoils you. Once you're in, everything else feels a bit rough around the edges. The owner even mentions that the interior is in near new condition, making this a great pick for anyone looking to relive the luxury of the 1980s. Historically, the Lincoln Town Car was the flagship sedan for Ford's luxury division, Lincoln. It became synonymous with executive class and high-end comfort. Even though it was discontinued in 2011, the town car's legacy remains strong, especially in the limousine and executive transport industries. nineteen sixty six Ford Galaxy five hundred XL. Located in Shelbina, Missouri, here's a car with some serious project potential. The Ford Galaxy five hundred XL, especially from nineteen sixty six, holds a special place in Ford's lineup. This two door hardtop comes with a three hundred ninety engine, although it originally had a two hundred eighty nine. While it's not road ready just yet and needs a full restoration, the potential is immense. The XL trim was all about extra luxury, with bucket seats and additional chrome, uh, setting it apart from the standard models. The Galaxy series, introduced in 1959, was Ford's answer to the Chevrolet Impala, and by the mid-60s, the Galaxy had gained a reputation for performance and style, especially with its larger engine options. Nosh 1976 Chrysler New Yorker Coupe. Located in Detroit, Michigan, the Chrysler New Yorker represents the pinnacle of 1970s American luxury. This one is a two-door coupe with just over 53,000 miles. The owner says it drives great, but could use a fresh paint job to really shine again. There's some rust here and there, but nothing too serious. It even comes with some extras like aftermarket lights. The New Yorker was produced by Chrysler for nearly 60 years, starting in 1939. By the mid-70s, it had become known for its size, luxury features, and powerful engines. This was a car meant to showcase Chrysler's best engineering and luxury appointments, and it still holds its own in the classic car market today. nineteen seventy seven Buick Century Special Two Door Coupe located in Williamsburg, Iowa. Here's a classic Buick with character. 
Powered by a 305 V8 with a 350 turbo transmission, this Buick Century Special runs, drives, and stops, making it a solid option for a restoration project. The seller mentions some work needed on the floorboards and trunk pan, but overall, it's in decent shape for a car its age. The paint looks good from a distance and all the glass is intact. Buick, part of General Motors, has always been known for its balance between performance and luxury. The Century name dates back to 1936, and by the late 1970s, it had shifted into a more personal luxury car, competing with the likes of the Ford Thunderbird and Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Located in Asheboro, North Carolina, North Carolina. If you're looking for something small, nimble, and packed with potential, the 1975 Plymouth Scamp might just be it. It's equipped with the legendary Slant 6 engine known for its durability. The owner recently added a new starter, water pump, alternator, and tires, so you know it's been cared for mechanically. While the odometer has stopped working, the car runs great and is ready to hit the road or be part of your next trade. The Scamp, uh, derived from Plymouth's Valiant line, was a compact car that offered great value. By the mid-70s, the Scamp had become a favorite for those looking for something reliable and economical. 1966 Chevrolet Corvair, located in Sheboygan, Michigan. This 1966 Chevrolet Corvair is a piece of automotive history. Often referred to as one of the most unique American cars, the Corvair had a rear-mounted, air-cooled engine, something that set it apart from nearly every other American car of the time. The current owner says it needs some work on the engine, but with new brakes, tires, exhaust, and a fresh top, it's already on its way to being road-ready. This could be the perfect project for someone looking to own a classic piece of American innovation. The Corvair, introduced in 1960, was designed to compete with European imports and, while it gained popularity, it also faced controversy. Despite this, it remains a beloved classic today. nineteen seventy eight Pontiac Grand Am SE sedan four door located in Knoxville Tennessee here's a rare find Pontiac only made the second generation Grand Am for three years making this 1978 model something special with 58,000 miles on the odometer it's a solid driver that could be used as a daily car or a weekend cruiser the seller mentions it's in great mechanical shape though the air conditioning needs a recharge Pontiac's Grand Am was positioned as a mid-size car with both performance and comfort in mind, bridging the gap between the brand's high-performance muscle cars and more conservative sedans. Nineteen seventy-three GMC Sprint El Camino, located in Montgomery City, Missouri. The GMC Sprint, a sibling to the Chevrolet El Camino, offers the best of both worlds: a car and a truck all in one. This one has a lot of new parts, including a newer exhaust system, distributor, carburetor, and radiator, but it still needs some love to be fully road ready. And um, for those who enjoy working on classic cars, this could be a great project. The El Camino and Sprint were part of a unique segment of vehicles that combined the utility of a truck with the performance and comfort of a car. The Sprint was GMC's version, produced from 1971 to 1977. 1972 Buick Electra 225, located in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Rounding off today's lineup is the 1972 Buick Electra 225. This car is a bit rough around the edges but holds great potential. With a 455 V8 engine under the hood, this full-size luxury car has all the power you'd expect from a Buick of this era. It does need some work to get it back to its former glory, but for those looking for a project, it could be a rewarding restoration. 
The Electra nameplate was used by Buick from 1959 until 1990 and became known for its size, comfort, and power. The 225 in its name referred to its length in inches, emphasizing its full-size luxury status. And there you have it, 10 amazing classic cars, each with its own story and potential. Let me know in the comments which one you'd want to take for a spin.